Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake and you're here for another reaction and today I am reacting to episode 5 of, no, season 3 episode 5 of The Boys. Um, Where we left off last time, oh, the Huey uh, now has powers, Kimiko's not healing, Soldier Boy's on the loose. Ah, it's nuts, <laughs> it's nuts. And uh, Drummer Boy slash, uh, oh, fuck, what was his name again? I can't remember, it was another version of, is like his, like, I'm just going to call him Drummer Boy. Alex was name, his, real, his name in the show is. Um, but I can't remember the other one that he was, he was going as. Uh, he's been absolutely ripped to shreds. Um, a trays a shithead. Unredeemable, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's where we left off. I'm excited for where we're going to go into this episode. Uh, how really, like, because MM was freaking raging over the whole uh, Paris thing uh, and how everything's gone. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes with the group dynamic now. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm interested. I, I want to jump into it straight away. So on that note, guys, I hope you liked, I hope I like this. I hope you liked this video. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Steve, oh, no. For now, I don't like that use of the word. Acid cocktails, more or less shoved Chernobyl right up his ass. <laughs> Lied. Oh. <laughs> you killed gunpowder, didn't you? Did you use your little laser eyes? It's too fucking right, I did. <laughs> should have that kind of power. Well, ain't that just fighting fairies and dancing dildos? <laughs> I am to live. <laughs> oh, God. It's like Kermit the Frog get a right wank in your mouth. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I see. The mountain to Muhammad, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, people are going to be sucking his ass. Uh, very... Is there something you want to get up your chest, Maury? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Do you think you know better than me? Oh. I don't know. Maybe you. He's still fucking broken, no matter what Perry has. Crime analytic. The deep. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? Thank you for your service. Cupcakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> Steve. From Sprinkle. You're, you're, right. you're the devil. Oh, and one more. I'll see you in the morning, yeah? Fuck you. <laughs> fucking hell. MM, he's 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 not happy. Hey. The part you're most upset about is it the part where uh, <laughs> Soldier Boy's loose in Russia. Or oh, you took a drug. Temporary, absolutely hated it. <laughs> oh, he can open it now. You loved it. I fucking really loved it. <laughs> you know me. If a guy in the car next to me gives me a dirty look, what are you gonna do? With Four. I hated every second. Oh. Okay. With great power comes the absolute certainty that you'll turn it on the right cunt. <laughs> He's just so poetic, isn't he? Oh! Okay. Oh, well, this is a... <laughs> well... I guess it's relieved some stress from both of them. Ah! Chocolate lies. Who went through well, this? He's actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Where did you come from? Ten soldiers. <coughs> I tried to lab this Nina. My contacts and the. She's just a child. It's never stopped you before. Oh, Nina. Call me when it's done. I miss you when you were just a little perv, Nina. Oh, wait. She's completely lost her powers. Oh, watch, but they're probably temporary. Oh, that's probably temporary. Fucking coward. Why are you so desperate to be with people who hate you? Mmm. 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 Drop. Grads from Lindsay. You know, it's actually 
racist to call somebody racist. What? That's not that, no. What is this? This is so great, you guys. <laughs> this isn't going to work out like I think it is. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not actually taken back like more of a culture shock. Uh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, you, you kind of let him do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. Jesus, 19. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I need... No, baby. I'm sorry. I, I need to know what happened to his family. It's mad. He was almost, he was almost in like, like sort of in the ship, like <clears throat> they, they say that he was supposed to be, has hired to kill as Homelander. And then they've practically put a nuclear bomb in him. That, <laughs> if that doesn't scream villain, I don't know what does. I mean, Huey, you haven't got, a, at least put a fake cast on in case what's a face, um, Newman, but her first name is Victoria. Apparently, they could just let anyone walk in on site. Knowing you, you already got a lead. What's that fucking do? <laughs> Look at where we are. The legend. The legend? The bad soldier boy paid him a visit. We're fine. Oh, we're gonna beat the legend. It took me very a while there to register. No. Right. Like this, this can only go wrong. Only go wrong. He, he, he's a fucking doofus as well, this guy, but not a cute doofus. You know, he's a gobshite. Racist, but that is not who I am. Okay, just can't even friends, say it. Many of whom are. Oh, he's going through all the. He's, he's going through all the tropes. Sorry, we can get out of here. You know what? Do your research. Oh, for fuck's sake! A disproportionate. All lives matter. All lives matter. Oh, all lives matter. Soup lives, soup lives matter. Oh my fuck. A train. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, well, you know. It's not payback because of A train because it's his brother who dies. He's nice. Dog shit stuck to your boot. That's him. When you were at Oak Cunt. This is you. It's quite a Paul Riser, that's his name. It's not a name. It's a love. Don't behave. You got my word. <laughs> this is important. How could you look at that smile and think he's going to behave? I was balls deep in Golden Geisha, and Marlon Brando was apparently balls deep in <laughs> what, That's gay now? Let alone butter churn half the cast of Falcon Quest at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Which I did. Two words. I swear on my kids' lives. She hates your fucking kids. So would you if you met him. So if I ran the prince... Well, mostly, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Today's attack on 59th Street. Yeah, in the, in the comics, uh, graphic novels, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Uh, again, where I've gotten up to. Well, I doubt they'll change it anyway, but the legend's in it. But he's not as grotesque in this. In this, he's obviously like a suave, good-looking older man. In the comics, he literally... Uh, some, uh, I... <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's just like a small little grotesque goblin. So I, I, I like that they've done this a different way, but, you know, it would have been nice to see a grotesque goblin. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, that's going to fucking hurt him. Bitch, that's what she said. Oh, for fuck's sake, Black Noir. I'm in. Give me some. Kid, didn't you just hear a goddamn word? <laughs> I mean, who do you get? You just need to be human. Oh, that's. It's, it's, I don't Please. think she's human. Where is me? I don't think so. Is she even alive? Stands up to Antifa. You uh, are. A, 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 a train, you gotta fucking slaughter him. 
Like, who cares if it's Russian roulette? Fucking rip them apart. Oh! Oh, shit! I got rid oh, it's I not got real, rid is it? For fuck's sake. I got my, I got sweet dreams. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to assume that she didn't actually speak. Because that's when he ran out and then obviously turned into a song, so. I worked with that outbreak monster. Oh! Very good. <laughs> There's no other place. So. Hold your horses, there comes a lot. 7 7 9. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Fucking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> How do you escape from Russia? Oh, oh so she knew. What are you doing? <laughs> MM called me. Oh. He just told her he might. Oh my god. <laughs> he can't believe his clothes just keep on coming off his arm. You sound more. He's not giving him the V, has he? Can't draw no line in. Mm. Not with what I could. Mm. So maybe he didn't give him V and he's just paralyzed them. So so he can't get hurt. Oh, you big handsome man. Team up. Oh, okay. Okay. They did. Oh what? You sold out for no money. Because I still loved you. Oh. What's he gonna do to her? I didn't love you. Oh, for fuck's sake, another one. I hated you. Oh, God. Did they just hate you? Everyone hated each other. Did. Wait, how far away did they walk? Oh, fuck. Oh, my Lord. Is it me, or did it look like t that what he was you? nothing he to hurt? butcher, like Keep an eye on like him. a feather? He's a Huey, Huey, listen. He was a pair of it all along. We wanted a weapon. You and me against the world. Huey. She isn't gonna stand for this. Please don't go. Oh, Annie, how are you not seeing? How is she not seeing this? Oh, like, how's Annie not seeing it for what it is? She can't be saying all these horrible things about Homelander and then, like, oh, well, we can't, we can't use him as the fucking weapon because he's killed people. Even Annie's killed someone. Well, at least as we assume she did because she left that one, they stole the car in season two. Oh, Annie, man. So that, guys, was my reaction to Season 3, Episode 5 of The Boys. Uh, I don't think anything was complete, like, completely, completely shocking, I don't think. Um, well, I, yeah, obviously there was still some shock there, but not things where I was like, Ugh! but overall, again, very good episode. I think it's... Uh, I think it's a very, just a very strong show in, in general. So I honestly don't think there be there could be there could be a uh, a bad episode. Um, but every 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 episode is usually at least decent, I guess. Where you can go, oh, I haven't. I'm not upset that I wasted an hour watching it. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so overall good, but. But it's going through the notes really. Um, we're seeing bits and pieces now more of a. Uh, um, of Butcher's sort of uh, vision of we. I, I'm fairly certain it is Lenny, 
and it's to do with Huey. So we saw it in episode no a start of episode two. And uh Yeah. And we saw like in the in the T V in the background that kid there and then it tra- changed to Huey or the, either way around. And then this one obviously then he's looking at Huey and he's like, So I'll I'll take the drug or whatever and then he or, and he's then picture he then sees Lenny and then goes back to Huey. So uh they're starting to sort of focus a little bit more on that now. Um well they always those kind of especially season two. But um but yeah, so we're seeing a bit more now that he sees him, and but he's still making the mistake of what he did last time, which is sort of like he's well, he's learning to do drugs, and he's sort of like well, he's not doing the mistake last time. It's, it is in the sense that he's still keeping Huey close by, but at the same time, he's he, even then he was like the lad could think for himself. So I guess he's just he's keeping him at arm's length, but he's keeping him still at close, so nothing can really happen to him. Um. But I do like uh, their relationship. It's very, it does feel like, yeah, it's not a father son relationship. It's not a, it's yeah, it's not a, yeah, it's not, it's not like that. It, it does have that sort of brotherly sort of thing where he looks out for him and the other one looks up to a butcher. But at the same time, so Kiwi looks up the butcher, but at the same time he doesn't. He, he doesn't like resent him, but he just he well he usually doesn't appreciate what he does. But the gloves are off this series so yeah um <laughs> uh <laughs> homelander as war ceo shaking things up getting rid of the one woman and just keeping a bunch of white men just kissing ass see he's about right that's what he needs uh for him to thrive but overall i think that him having ashley as a puppet which he's had since season two um it makes sense and also we had that moment with ashley where where she where it was like be a fucking human which is what Maeve said to her last season as well um and you can see she she was torn she's she's now so used to the way that the company is and how you you need to be like how cut there is whilst also being afraid that homeland is going to kill her here like so like so you could see that conflict you know like should i be this robot should i be this or should i help but obviously she's now just thinking for herself uh sorry that she's thinking about her own safety and that is that she doesn't want to get sorted by homelander but alas i mean do i hate her hate her no i don't even hate her i just think she's she i don't even know i just think that she will either no she won't come out on top I don't think she'll come out on top, but I don't think that if there's an ending for her, it'll either be she's killed or um, or yeah, she's just there. She goes to the prison. That's it. I don't see anything really good happening to her. So, and you know, you know what would be good though if Ashley got taken over by other Ashley. That would be so good. Like Ashley became Ash, new Ashley became CEO, and and like sold other Ash, uh, original Ashley down the river that'd be good uh, yeah so yeah uh, I've put telling Annie the truth but I'll, I'll talk about that towards the end when it comes to their fight Butcher and Maeve didn't really see that coming I like it it's about like I said it's about time that Butcher you know just I think maybe the fact that he couldn't find Becca, there was no body or anything like that. That's why, it, from what I got, got, that he never like was with anyone. That's what I got from it, at least, because he would still had hope or or there, so he wouldn't want to cheat. But I'm good that now. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's it's good that they're showing now that now that she's gone, you know, he sort of. Maybe it's because it, losing Becca has actually fucking made him even a like a harsher bastard. So, so maybe that. So maybe that's like maybe he was able to let go of that emotional cling on clinging on to her, like that emotional sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, emotional tie, I guess, to her. Now that she's gone, he can now become more of a bastard, but also 
you saw him with little Nina, and he was using his flirtation skills more like what well, also a hint of uh, threat without it being threats his threat skill with a hint of flirtation. So um, I saw him with little Nina now Maeve, but uh, he's, honestly, it's uh, it's great. It's great that that was a that was good. Great for that character. Great for Maeve as well. Like to also actually. I don't know whether it's with all soups, but the fact is she got she seemed that drunk after like a, a bottle of vodka for an alky as well. But then again, four months. So it's been a while. It's going to hit you more. But anyway, great scene. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really good. Uh, okay, Blue Hawk. <laughs> what a shithead. Uh, the character itself... Uh, it it doesn't is gonna end well from he's uh he's he's one of those uh those characters who who are a racist in disguise without the disguise being very good like yeah like imagine someone like 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 there's a yeah just yeah that's it really he it generally is that it's the same same old shit i'm not this i've got this i'm not this i can't be this 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 but ultimately everything in which you stand for and say and believe and sprout your fucking shite it is it's it's racist without necessarily saying being racist doesn't mean you just say an offensive word like you like a, a word that's banned you're not dropping the m bomb in public, let's say, but everything else you're saying to is where uh, thoughts and opinions and the thing that that can definitely be racist as well. So, but I kind of like the character though. He's he's a fucking yeah. That, that that's the thing about it. But obviously he's a, he's a sh- fucker. Um. But yeah, no. A train. A train. A train. I think it would be a good end to that character if he uses his speed to fuck up Blue Hawk and then he just, his heart gives out. I, I personally think that would be, that, that, that would be a good end to his character. He, he kind of did something for the community, but then again, that doesn't really stop what what the next Blue Hawk comes into a, a community. Well, that's not going to stop him. It's There needs to be better action. But, you know, whether that changes or But again, uh, I thought, I th- yeah, that's what I think where it's going, as well. Also, his brother, and I think they, they said that he he might or will never walk again. Who know, who knows? But that was a uh, that all my lives matter showing sp- spoon shit as well. Oh, yeah, what it, the character just makes sense, doesn't it? Um, yes. So I'll talk about that towards the end as well. Yeah. Having the legend back, having the legend back, sorry, having the legend appear was good. It was good. Like I said, is that he isn't as grotesque in this as he is in, uh, well, people will look at him and like in the, in the, in the original material and go, oh, I don't know what you mean he's grotesque. To me, I, whenever I saw him in scenes, I always found him quite grotesque. But, um, but it's good to have like a different word version of it on it, you know? So, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 good having him back. Him just sort of, literally just having, just coke everywhere. Like just, uh, well, obviously he had another one for a uh, soldier boy, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's good to have him back. I wonder if he, they, what the problem more than likely they probably will use him again this season. Uh, it could be, but he might just be one scene wonder if, until next season now. I don't know, but I, th- I, th- oh, yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed his character in this as well. He was less. Oh no, he's still seedy. Sorry, and uh, but he was sort of a. Uh... He was yeah. He was just a fucking Hollywood bloody cokehead sex ex- escapades bastard. And I think that they could do. They can use him a lot more now. Definitely can use him a lot more now that he's been introduced. So yeah. 
So that, that, that's why it's good to see him. And Paul Rice is a great actor as well. Um, no, no, also, that's another thing, sorry. Uh, what, what, oh, no, no, moving past that, now we're back to Maeve. That scene there where he could smell Butcher on her. That, that, that was, that, that's good. Like, you just know that probably hurt her the most. But again, what hurt, hurt him more further on was the words that she hated, she, she hated him. And, and it parallels obviously later on with uh, Crimson Thingy. Uh, Crimson Count Countess? Countess? Yeah, Crimson. Let's call it Crimson. Uh, yeah, it parallels that later on. Is in like, was I'm only with you? I was only with you for show, or I was afraid of you, or whatever. But it's it's great that she got that dig in because her her he wasn't believing her, no matter what he says. And you just get so it was, it, like she might as well have said it just to fucking get under his skin. But. Obviously, Maeve's not dead. I don't think you'd kill Maeve. You wouldn't kill Maeve. Um, but also, you never know. But he's, she's somewhere locked up. Um, but yeah. But Black Noir, they're, they're, I need to see. I need to see more Black Noir rather than just uh, just, and then that's it. Like I want a bit more. Obviously, we got like his like. Again, people like were made. I don't know. I didn't react much to the uh, Black Noir face reveal. But I don't know. I, I honestly God, I, I, I don't know why I didn't react. I was just like, mm. so. But moving on from that, I want to see more Black Noir, and I mean, sort of just being a bit of a badass, like sort of like pure. Just I'm, I'm here to do the job. Let's get the fuck. Let's get the fuck on. Let's do this. So yeah. So. So yeah, I don't think uh, yeah. Overall, Black and Wearing, uh, he did what Homelander wanted to. So I guess that's why that's why I enjoy him. Really, he's just a mercenary. Just I'll do it, but um, but I want to see more of him. Um, yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, I mentioned about Ashley, right? So now. He, uh, obviously with it comes to Frenchie a little bit a little bit worried now with everything because it seems to be a bit too nice I feel like something some shit's gonna go down but then again like this like I'm again I'm not really too certain maybe maybe it's the um radiation maybe that's what she's susceptible to and that's what uh that's what's making her not heal, but I think she will is going to heal. I think it's just taking its sweet ass time. Um, but that whole dance scene was oh, that was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was fun. The, the color changed. The, the mu like I, but I'm still a little. I'm not too certain whether. I'm fairly. I'm fairly fairly certain that she didn't say. Uh, the the lines and then burst and, and then that's when the dream sequence happened. I'm fairly certain she just looked them. In the eye. And uh, and then she just imagined that, and then she kissed them. So that's that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Uh, it it was, but then again, she could have, and he was just like, oh, okay. But I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know. But the dance itself was good. I I, I she kissed. Maybe they just got a conflicted relationship. Maybe they, you know, maybe they both are. Uh, they don't know really what they want or they don't want to push too far because it might send the other way. So the fact is that she went into him and it, it sort of like, it will resonate that the fact that she feels like she can do these things now because now that she thinks her powers are gone, um, she thinks that she can have a normal life and she can be with Frenchie maybe and she can do certain things. So there is all a possibility. But I, her powers are coming back. Her powers are coming back. They're coming back, definitely. Um, or if not, she just starts taking V again, temporarily. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried about Frenchie. The fact that Nina and her goons just taking them. 
So is he is he going to be made to do the hit now, or is she just going to be like, I'm going to fuck you up? Um. So we'll see. Um. I'm trying to think if there was anything else to do with them, but. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully let, let's see if the others even because if if Frenchie's not there, they can't really call her. They can only text her actually, text her. But how they're all gonna meet up because they're gonna have to help get Frenchie now. There's there's no way he's he's not getting out of there unscathed. So they're in for a, a huge shock when they all when they all could turn up at uh, Nina's front door and they've got powers. All of them. That's what I want. Um. Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen being back in the show. Uh, I, I, so I'm watching this three days after its release because, again, I was busy. Um, so I, I missed quite a, like, a bit of spoilers, but only earlier today is that I saw Seth Rogen mention uh, his char- character who like is in a film with Black Noir. And then once I saw that, I ignored it. Uh, so I saw that I was like oh that's a spoiler so um, so I didn't know actually what he, he was in this but I knew that he is his cameo was sort of tur- coming up if if not in this episode then there might have been something that was released uh, later on like in, in another trailer or or if he was literally just talking about it. I didn't really have to close it up I was like just in case I'll ignore it um, so yeah so having him back having him back as what was it I can't, I can't remember what his name is, but come something. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's such a Seth Rogen fucking scene. Like, it's it's such a just it's it's <laughs> the, fact, the fact he's just got his top off as well. Like, <laughs> and also like, he hey Seth Rogen Seth Rogen's aged aged quite a bit. I can't remember what's the last film I've seen him in. But I, yeah, I was a little bit, I was a little bit taken back. But like, I was like, oh shit, he, he, he's, 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 he's a grown, he's, he's a grown man now, and he's been a grown man for a long time. But now he's a grown man. But <laughs> I, I did like that scene with literally it was it must have been butcher that fucking just came along and tackled her. But uh, I didn't, I did enjoy, uh, <laughs> I did enjoy that from the that side of the camera, and then him ejaculating at the the time that he didn't want to but I also would like that why did he just stop but obviously he just he just carried on and it was all for nothing but it's great having him back we've had Simon Pegg and um and Seth Rogen so great stuff uh okay so MM I put the MM here so I'm gonna talk about MM so having him being a little bit more like not trying to do it go along with the v it's it's gonna as much as the dad didn't want to do it and, and stuff like that, he's gonna need to just drop it for now and just accept that this is something i have to do for the sake of huey or or butcher or frenchy or gimiko or anyone like he the gloves he needs to get into his head the gloves are off and as much as these the moral pride is that they have yeah, sorry, the moral part that he has, he needs to like realize he he needs to take his gloves off as well. Um, I think I honestly think I don't. I know I don't think uh, her stepdad is gonna be turned like into one of the to the like armies. I just think he's a bit of a like he, he's believing what's being portrayed because he loves them so much. The soups so. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to... I don't think they're going to have to kill him. But it's something to keep an eye on now. But yeah, but to go back to MM, he needs to very recognise this. And, he, and, I, and I thought maybe the stepdad might have helped her, him recognise, but I don't, I, don't think, I don't think it will. So hopefully he, 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 he drops his holier-than-now shit on his fucking high horse, like you said, and join the scumbags at the bottom. Um... And he's gonna be so fucking pissed, so pissed, so so pissed when he catches up with Butcher. And honestly, if Butcher has V V, MM might have to take the V just to punch him for so it hurts. Um. Also, I don't know whether they actually 
No, they did. I did. Sorry, I was about to say I don't know whether they actually took the V, but they did because Butcher's eyes and uh, and Huey proving his powers. Um. So yeah. Um. Mm needs to sort. Sneak. Mm needs to sort himself out. Oh, oh another line as well. Sorry, now that we're talking V, how uh, I I did like the fact that I thought it was because fucking Butcher was actually kind of enjoying it. But he, even he, he feels dirty taking it. He fucking hates it. And he's like, I've tried them all, all the drugs. And this one was fucking horrible. This is hor- this is the most horrible of lot. So, shit. Fucking. Uh, and that's something else that I said. But there's loads of bits and pieces that I, I like. Like lines here and there that I like during this. Um, but it's, overall, I'm going to talk about Annie and Huey. Uh, Annie's obviously been through a lot. She's confronted. And she, obviously her throughout this is confronting other characters. But they're both trying to sort of they're not on the same page and that is that is a problem the drug is working from what we can see but Annie's not liking the way that he was going about it she's not liking him, him putting himself in a position of danger because she knows how dangerous Homelander is he's putting himself in a, a position of danger because he knows how um, dangerous Homelander is so they're both trying to do it but they're both not on the same page and they kind of and he's saying the gloves are off and she still got her gloves on. She's still trying to fight back a certain way, and maybe that's the, that's the demise of their relationship. Who knows? But they they need to at least for this season for in the season for their for their plans to be able to. If they're not on the same page, then even if they all go up against Homelander, the whole team are not on the same page because that would be too much of conflict. So it needs to be it needs to be sorted. I didn't really like the ultimatum rather than again I didn't like the whole sort of don't go don't go with them like like how can she see all the stuff that Homeland has done and doing now and being that worried and still going no, don't, don't, don't do it don't use this like guy that he's killed this like, oh. Annie you goody oh, sorry it wasn't even the character's name it's Andy but it sounded like it. Um, yeah. So they need to sort their shit out. But I am liking Hue- Huey on it. He's confident. He's not nervous. I would. I would. I would want him to be a full full time V user rather than just being twenty four hours. But no. Then it looks like they're even trying to get rid of Kimiko's powers. Uh, okay. Now, Sol- Soldier Boy. I didn't know Jensen Eccles' voice actually. And he's got a voice like butter. And I thought it when I've seen the clips of him. But then this one with more dialogue. And more time together with like no music in the background or thing like that. It was, it's been, it's it's, it's so smooth his voice. Uh, but like him, no, like it seems that it's triggered by. The, the power that he has, it seems to be triggered if he gets angry. So if he feels something, if if he's got X amount of emotion, like whatever emotion he has, if it's overwhelming, he becomes a fucking nuclear bomb. But, um, but I am like, and I am, uh, like, is he, all it was is that we saw him just in Russia, in the airport, then he was in America, blew up the fucking, uh, blew up the house where the legend used to be. And, um, yeah, and then, and then obviously then he he then went to find his his uh, missus. But I am. Why? So no. So she got rid of him because she fucking hated him. And that's a lot to get rid of someone just because you hate him. But that is good. I'm loving that as well. It's like the, these people realizing how actually despised they are. Like they're so used to people being fake that they are taken aback by the truth and now they wish that people would just be fake to say stuff to amuse them so I didn't expect uh, well I did sorry that's it I, I, I didn't I oh know I didn't expect obviously her doing this, <laughs> this, this sex uh, sex video and stuff like that but I also didn't expect uh, her to have um because she was like saying the same like sort of Actually, no, it was. She could. She came, I was thinking when she came on screen saying, like, they took Homelander. 
They've taken killed, killed him. They've taken his body. Not Homeland, sorry. Um, Soldier Boy. He's t- taken his body. Oh, no. And they've just pointed the shot. I was a bit sort of like, well, why have you just come out of nowhere? Like, and like unscathed, you know? Um, But, yeah. Like, but I, I, so I kind of thought, I thought that. And I was thinking well, maybe she was a pair of it. But then I was like, mm, well, it, it makes sense that if, if if it's a, if he's alive, then it makes sense. It, it makes sense that they they might have just taken it and taken him in front of him, like made it look like he was dead, and she was just like, "Oh my god, I've just seen this." But then it's it's because her hatred for him was so much. That's what she sold him out for to Russia. Like like she didn't even ask for money. Like oh yeah no, I'll give him to you. Like you know, just give me X amount of money and like it'll be fine. She's just like no, I don't even want your money. Get rid of him. Well, uh, well, fucked up woman. But that whole that whole thing, like him realizing that he, he was hated, and then just them blowing up, and then leaving the, the fucking burnt out corpse. The burnt out corpse are great. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think I think I think that. Well, seeing how what happened with Kimiko, I don't think it's gonna be obvious. And, and the fact that it's episode five, there's three episodes left. I don't, it's not going to be as straightforward as go on let's point them at Homelander then ah he's gone so uh, I don't think it'll be as uh, as simple as that but again we'll see like how they're going to get Homelander out to for Soldier Boy to do it is Soldier Boy even going to go along with it do you think uh, do, we, do we think he's going to fucking betray them because it seems very much like a, you help me now I help you but it would make sense that they, he disposes of him because he wants to be back on top, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'll be, it's going to be interesting how it goes. Uh, but overall, yeah, and overall, very good episode. Still enjoyable. Um, I don't, it goes to show you, you don't have to be always sort of like, oh, for you to, for it to be um, a, good ep- a good show or a good episode. So solid, solid entry, right? I guess uh, I'm going to leave it there then. So, guys, that was my reaction to The Boys Season 3, Episode 5. If you like this uh, video, please like the video. Uh, comment down below. Do you think that uh, Soldier Boy is going to betray them? Uh, do you think Ashley is going to get taken over by Ashley? And uh, what do you think of uh, but- What do you think of Butcher and Maeve? Yeah. I like it, but like, is, 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 is everyone on board? Comment down below. Uh, if you like this uh, these type of videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. There's other videos around here. Um, I, th- I always do this, but I'm always it, this. It's just I could just say it. There's videos around here, but I'm always like this. Other bunch of videos around here, but there is a bunch of videos around here. Um, uh, different, yeah, different reactions to different uh, films, television, uh, trailers, that sort of thing. So have a little gander, see if anything takes your fancy, and. Uh, I uh, look forward to the next one. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that, oh, that didn't really sound as fluid. I said next one and then next one. Now it's just... it's good. You know what? I'm just going to say... I'll see you out there. There we go. No, point there. Why am I, Why was I pointing there? See you in the next one. No. I've totally fucked this ending up. I'm not, even, I'm not going to keep... I'm going to edit the shit out of this. Or maybe I'll just keep it in, just to fucking, just to punish people. Right. (laughs) Now it feels weird. Now I don't want to point. All right, okay. I'll see you in the next one. No, I did it too high again. I'll see you in the next one. Nailed it.